guys, Cheshire here. Welcome to week one, module three. And uh, so far we have uh, given you a bit of a foundation about the course and we have told you what you can expect from the course and the various bifurcation within the IT industries and a uh, few other things. Um, as per the course module, now you are ready to proceed with the technical fundamentals, which you all want to learn. But before we start getting into the fundamentals, I actually wanted to give you a bit of a mindset stuff to make sure that you are able to absorb all the information that we are going to provide in the correct manner and you are able to get the best results out of it. This is a very important module because this teaches you not only how to be successful with the IT infrastructure career, but this actually teaches you to be successful overall. In your life. I'm, I'm sure that you will enjoy this module a lot and uh, try to be receptive, try to learn and uh, I hope you like it. Let's get started. How to get the result? Every action that we take in this life is to get some result. But if you honestly go and calculate the resultant a general human is getting from his action, it is very minuscule. And the reason behind that is that more often than we should, we forget the basic formula of getting the success or the result. In this module, we are going to talk about that formula and its ingredients and how to ensure that we achieve success with them. So here is what we are going to cover in this module. The equation of result. Yeah, I have created a mathematical equation for result, so it's going to be cool. Um, how to get energy and how to get focus, which is actually uh, a derivation of the equation of result. You are going to learn about it very soon. Let's go ahead. The equation of result. The most brilliant way to calculate the result is this mathematical formula. Energy into focus is equal to result. This was an eye-opening concept for me when I learned about it. And honestly, this shouldn't have been. My whole life, when I had to pass an exam on next day, I used to dedicate that day to the subject and ace the test the next day. So I used to focus on that subject for the whole day. Or when I'm fixing a toy or maybe a machine of mine, I stop thinking about anything else and I just focus on it and I get it done. It happens with most of our hobbies, from fixing cars, that's just me, not you, to painting or to watching movies. Whatever it's for you, you get excellent result with it because you put the right amount of focus into it. It's as simple as that. Let me just calculate it. You have 10 units of energy and you have one unit of focus. Your result is going to be 10. You have one unit of energy and you have got 10 units of focus. Your result is going to be 10. You have 10 units of energy and you have 10 units of focus. Your result is going to be 100. Let me give you some example. Say in term of studying. You study in front of a TV with the best book. Just imagine what's going to be the result. Or you study hungry without food. You are feeling hungry and you have the best book with you. Just imagine what's going to be the result. You're, you'll keep thinking about the food and you'll not be able to concentrate on studying. Or you're fully prepared in a room with full stomach, no TV on, but you don't have the correct study material. What's going to be the result? The best result is when you have 100% efforts with 100% focus. And that's when you get 100% result. It's that simple. But we often forget it. And I'm going to talk more about it. Let's see further. Now, we know that the ingredients for the result is energy and focus. So the good question is that how can I make sure that I have the right energy? And how can I make sure I have the right focus? And energy is the easier one between these two. But overall, these two, especially the mindset, which is for focus, are very deep meaning topics, which are not 
Honestly, I don't have enough time to include in this training because it will become so, so very huge. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to briefly pick up on very few topics which I feel are utmost important for you to understand, to get the result. Let's begin to find out how you can get your energy. It's amazingly simple and yet forgotten so easily. You get energy by maintaining a healthy body. Make a schedule. Sleep on time. Don't just keep looking into your phone till 12 in the night and then wake up late in the morning with half of your sleep completed. Wake up on time. Make a schedule. Wake up every day on the same time. Do some exercises. If, if you can, if you feel like it, go for a walk, do some exercises, do some physical stuff. Take bath. It's so important and people yet forget these things. People just avoid taking bath in the morning. It's very important guys to clean your body, to get your focus right, to make your mind clear and focused. It's highly important. Do your prayers if you uh, like to do that, uh, not something which is mandatory. Meditate. Again, something if you like, like to do it and if you really want to grow up higher in your career, then maybe start meditating. These are some things which can really help you get your energy on uh, the right place. Wear smart clothes. I'm not asking you to get carried away with clothes. And in fact, I'm going to show you a little more about the clothes in, in the next section. But wear clean clothes. Don't wear dirty clothes every day. When you wake up in the morning, even if you are, when you are working from home, don't stay in the bed. Get up, get ready, wear your clothes, get on a table, get on a chair, start working. I know I'm talking like your parents since childhood who have been asking you to do it like this, but maybe they didn't know the reason for it exactly. The reason is that you have to get your energy right because if your energy is not right, you will not be able to function with your 100% efficiency. So I don't want you to get carried away with your clothes. If, if you find one cloth which is really good, just buy it in five colors. Maybe treat it like a uniform and wear it, wear it every day. Simple but clean. Look at the highly successful people. I don't know if, if you have followed anybody or not. But if you go out in this world and you can easily Google information about all the successful people from uh, the the movie stars, the film stars, to uh, industrialists, to big uh, billionaire people, you will find that none of them is extravagant with parties, like they don't uh, take their whole day or whole night going on parties and spending all their time. They have all the money to do it, but they don't do it. They every day sleep on time, they do exercise, they maintain a fit body, they eat healthy and they are usually punctual. Why? There has to be a reason for it. And this is the reason for that. There is no workaround to being healthy and fit and keeping your energy level up if you really want to achieve success. Avoid junk food. I know every once in a while it's good. I even do it, eat it. but. Just remember the repercussion of the junk food. It makes you feel heavy. It, it makes you feel low in energy. Uh, so it, it overall takes away a lot from your body. I used to do this like uh, near my office. There used to be a kebab place and uh, they used to make really, really good kebab. So um, every every day in the uh, during the lunch, I used to go to the kebab place and have like a really big uh, donor kebab kind of a thing and used to eat it. And it was amazing. It was, it was really cool. But what used to happen was that whenever I eat something like this or a lot of rice with a lot of uh, dal or something and uh, whenever I eat so many heavy things in the lunch, I just start feeling drowsy. I want to sleep. I want to lay down. I want to relax. So if you do that around 12.30 in the afternoon, what's going to happen to the rest of your day? Three hours you want to relax and sleep and be lazy. 
yeah you can do it if you if you really are not looking very high in your career if you are just trying to take a couple of steps in your career and move to the next level yeah you you can do a lot of things and get away with them but at least for the duration of this program or as long as you can maintain as long as you want to keep growing try to control on these things and try to keep your energy up yeah you can give yourself the weekends or try to be by yourself on the weekends or maybe only one day on sunday or something yeah give yourself some space enjoy but try to be in control and you know after a while if you if you keep practicing these things um the other things which you categorize as enjoy right now don't remain enjoy anymore this becomes the enjoyment this becomes the happiness so it's a it's a thing which you really need to decide remember i spoke about clothes that you have to wear the clean clothes i just wanted to give you uh, some clarity about the relationship between success and clothes i want to explain the importance of clothes in our success but before that let me ask you a question who do you believe is the most successful person as per these images well if you answered the suit then congrats you are in line with google because google agrees with you as per google successful man looks like this hence in order to be successful you need to wear a suit doesn't that sound ridiculous but at the same time i know a lot of you would have said that pictures or cloth is not sufficient to find out if someone is successful or not and that's your new age thinking speaking in you and that's good for you yet tell me you i or the people around us what is our obsession with buying expensive and expensive and more colorful and 20 different variety of clothes and associating it with success i'm i'm at such and such position i have to wear these kind of clothes i have to look hip i have to look smart and yeah just look at the that obsession even if you understand that clothes has nothing to do with your success or has something to do with your success then why are we so obsessed with the clothes before we move ahead i want to show you the unsuccessful man as per the as per google i can say this is steve jobs and this is like a favorite uh, his turtleneck and his jeans i think steve jobs is one of the most successful man on the planet and if we look at his wardrobe you will be stunned the man has worn the same clothes since he was born and here we are obsessing to buy designer brands to prove that we are wealthy and successful and to look good apple has numerous times become most valuable company in the world even today it's it's world's top listed company yet the founding owner didn't wear anything else except the same jeans and turtleneck do you know the reason why it's simple time is a constant either you can use it to be productive or waste it on trivial things like clothes so by telling this i'm not asking you to give up on your clothes by all means if you love buying clothes then keep buying it but please the reason i'm telling you is that do not associate your clothes and that quality and the variety of clothes which you have to the amount of success which you are going to have or the or the worst is that you think that buying more and more clothes is going to make you more and more successful you have to understand that you are wasting a lot of productive time first buying different variety of clothes second deciding on what clothes which you have to wear every day it's a such a huge waste of time if you look good in a jeans and a t-shirt just figure out what jeans and what t-shirt buy it like five pairs of those and just wear it in different colors every day don't think about it once again let me be clear that i don't expect you to wear bad clothes i i told you already that you need to wear clean clothes you need to wear handsome clothes to get your energy up but like i said that if you like something if you find something which looks good on you just buy it in five colors multiple pairs and just wear them you know the school uniforms students all the students are asked to wear the uniform 
One of the reason for that is to ensure that students have one less thing to worry about or to waste time on. It's that important. Just wanted to clarify this in your mind. So just to re revisit, this is how you get your energy. You have to stick to your schedule, sleep on time, wake up on time, do exercise, take baths, meditate if you can or if you want to, wear smart clothes, clean clothes, new clothes every day, but don't get carried away with clothes. Eat good, eat healthy food, eat more vegetables, eat more proteins. That's important for you to keep your body in the right working order. The second important thing, how to find your focus. This is definitely the good one. Energy was the easy one. And this is the good one for two reasons. One, people have forgotten the importance of focus. Second, they have no clues why they don't have it. I'll tell you a story. I don't know um, how many of you know, know uh, the Apple story and Steve Jobs story. Steve Jobs started Apple in around 1975 and it was a okayish successful company until 1982-83 as in it was doing more than okay and uh, at that time they had hired another CEO uh, he was an ex-IBM kind of a guy and he came into the company he started changing the way the company was working creating multiple products and doing a lot of things and as a as a result of all that, he he was actually successful in pushing away uh, Steve Jobs as well because as per him, Steve Jobs wasn't exactly in the right direction or wasn't in the right mindset to uh, lead a company like Apple. And yeah, I I I know this feels crazy, but the way these financial transaction works out is that when you have uh, when an external investor has invested in your company, they even have a power to fire the guy who actually started the company. But anyways, so they fired him. After that, Apple did terrible, like uh, almost until 95, 96, they were really on the verge of closing down. And uh, that's when uh, Steve Jobs was asked to join Apple again. And in 1997, Steve Jobs joined Apple again. And the first thing that Steve Jobs did when he joined Apple was to cancel the 18 products which Apple was working at that time on and just start focusing on two products one was of course uh, Mac and the other one was the initial prototype of iPhones and all those things so he decided to focus on just two things and cancel the 18 things or the 18 products that company was working on so that's the importance of focus focus is a difficult topic because there are so many things which can divert our focus. I will begin with the easy ones. Easy focus, and it's really easy for you to find this. Avoid your distraction. The mobile phone, which was supposed to be a boon to the mankind, it has become such a huge distraction. Avoid distraction. WhatsApp, Facebook, social networking, Netflix. These are really, really huge distractions. And they waste a lot of time, especially all these pop-ups which are coming on your phone. When you're trying to work on something or whenever you have to work, just put your phone on silent, put it on the side. Disable all these pop-up notifications from your phone. They're of no use. Because with every notification, you feel like an urge to respond back to that notification. And you take away your productive time. You take away your focus. Netflix keep giving you excellent series up one after another and yeah they are amazing and uh, once you get started with them you you have an urge to finish them or talk about facebook you're looking around at the world people doing crazy fancy stuff and you always want to look at their stuff or follow them or just feel that why you are not doing it it's not helping you but again if you want to do it that's fine, just create some schedule. And I don't even want you to create a schedule once a day. Maybe create a schedule of five minutes or 10 minutes every two hours. But for those two hours, don't touch your phone. Avoid the distraction. 
Try to get in a zone for every action which you are taking. Really sit in front of your computer or whatever device or book or whatever you're, you are using to study or do your job and just get into a zone to complete that task. It's very easy to just do the task. Then keep thinking about it and procrastinating and then not doing it. This is something really cool. I use Google Timer. Just go ahead and uh, in your Google window and type timer. And this timer will show up. Uh, set it to one hour, two hour, whatever focus you uh, want to get. And then click on play and then just go into your job. And then until the buzzer uh, comes up, don't leave the job. Don't look at your phone. Don't look at anything else. Just complete the task. It's very important. Try to get in zone with the situation. These are the easy ones. Let's move ahead. Now, the difficult focus. These are some very, very interesting topics. Avoid multitasking. I'll tell you how multitasking works. I know it's a very fancy term and everybody or every employer wants its employees to be multitaskers. Uh, but uh, the fact is that it is such a huge problem. I'll tell you about it. Um, I'll also tell you about how to clean your mindset. And then I also tell you how to develop your mindset for growth. Now, these topics require a little more background. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cover multitasking in this module. But the rest you have their own separate modules after this. Multitasking. I'm amazed to see how in every interview I have given, people ask how good you are at multitasking. When the reality is that anyone who is doing multitasking is wasting his efforts and will deliver only 10% of what the person is capable to deliver. And once again, my best friend Google, I have just put multitasking in Google and this is a screenshot from, from the website. So if we read here, from multiple articles which have come up. Multitasking reduces your efficiency and performance because your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. When you try to do two things at once, your brain lacks the capacity to perform both tasks successfully. The other one, though the brain is complex and can perform a myriad of tasks, it cannot multitask well. So multitasking is very difficult. I'm going to show you more about it. Let's dig a bit deep into it and see how our brain functions during multitasking. So you see, you have got a goal A and goal B, and then in front, uh, I'm looking at the image A, uh, there is action item A and there is action item B, and then there is a goal switch in front of the brain. And then in the second image, you can see that your brain with one task, 100%, and then your brain with, with multitasking. In the middle, this is like wasted brain, and then on the one side, there is task one for 10%, and the other task for 10%. Human brain is not made for multitasking. When someone multitasks, their brain light up like this. Actions get tangled with the goals, and all the processing power goes to the front of the brain, which is responsible for switching. You see that goal switching over there? So you basically waste 80% of your brain when you're trying to do a multitask. Instead, just finish the task one and then get into the task two. It's easier. Try to get into a zone with whatever task you're trying to accomplish. I hope you get the point and you will try not to multitask as much as possible. Do one thing at its best and move on to the next one. However, during the interviews, people will keep asking you this question and please do not answer them no. You can't tell them all this without the whole mindset thing. People don't understand it. They need a bit of a mindset training before they can get into these concepts. So don't say this. If, if somebody asks you if you are good at multitasking during an, inter an interview, always smile back and say, yes, sir, I'm excellent at multitasking. Okay. So here is what we covered in this module. We figured out the 
equation of result that is energy into focus is equals to result. I told you how you can get your energy by maintaining a schedule, by sleeping on time, by waking up on time and uh, by taking bath, by eating good food, by cleaning, uh, by wearing clean clothes and stuff like that. I also told you a bit about how to get your focus. I told you how you should avoid multitasking, how you should try to avoid distractions in your life and try to get more and more focus. In, in the future modules, we are going to study more about the focus and the ingredients of the focus, which is the mindset. So I hope you enjoyed this module and I will see you in the next module now. Thank you.